Hi. Now, in this video, what I want to do is show you how you go about solving a common question with parametric equations. And that is, when given a parametric equation, where does another curve or straight line given in Cartesian form intersect it? And to demonstrate this, I've got this example here where we've got a curve C and it has these parametric equations here. X equals T all divided by 1 minus T and Y equals 1 plus T all divided by T. Where T is a real number but not equal to 0 or 1. And we've got to find the points where the line Y equals 2X plus 1 intersects the curve C. Now the general method of doing this is not to transform the parametric equation into a Cartesian form and then do simultaneous equations. No, the method generally is to substitute the parametric equations into your Cartesian equation. In this case, y equals 2x plus 1. And we then go on to find the values of t. And then once we've got those values of t, we can substitute them back into these two equations here to get our points of intersection, the x and y coordinates. OK, so with that in mind, then what we're going to do is substitute our x and y values then into y equals 2x plus 1. And if we do that, our next line will be therefore 1 plus t all divided by t for y. That's going to equal 2 times x, that's 2 times t over 1 minus t. So it's going to give us 2t all over 1 minus t. And then we've got the plus 1. Next, I'm going to get rid of the fractions here by multiplying both sides by t and 1 minus t. And what that's going to give me is 1 plus t times 1 minus t on the left hand side. And that's going to equal 2t times the t there, that would be 2t squared, and then plus t times 1 minus t. OK? And then all I need to do is just expand this bracket here and this bracket here. Doing that, it's going to give us 1 minus t squared equals 2t squared, then plus t minus t squared. And I can see that. I need to rearrange this to form a quadratic equation that equals zero. So I'm going to add t squared to both sides and subtract one. And that's going to therefore give me 2t squared plus t minus one equals zero. And I can factorize this now. And that's going to give me two brackets. And in those brackets, I'm going to have 2t minus one and t plus one. And that means that each of these factors can be made equal to zero. So if 2t minus 1 equals zero, that's going to lead to t equaling a half. And if t plus 1 equals zero, we're going to end up with t equaling minus 1. OK, so now that I've got my t values, all I need to do is just substitute these into our equations here. And we can start off with when t equals a half. When t equals a half, we're going to have the x coordinate being a half divided by one half. OK, so that's going to lead to x equals one. And for y, we're going to have one plus a half, that's one and a half divided by a half, that's going to give us three. And when t equals minus 1, then doing much the same, we're going to find that x equals minus 1 divided by 2. So it's going to give us minus a half. And y is going to equal 0 divided by minus 1. That's going to be 0. So therefore, to summarize, we've got our points of intersection. They are 1, 3 and minus a half, 0. OK, so I hope that's given you an idea then on how to do that type of question.